Hi, my name is Calvin Hollywood. I'm from Germany and in this Photoshop tutorial I like to explain you the story about the police, the thief and the details. And uh, to show you what I'm talking about, I uh, like to open this image here. It's one of my uh, latest work. It's a compositing of a female Van Helsing uh, in Adobe Camera Raw. So I double click on that layer and uh, I open a layer uh, in Camera Raw with the script of Russell Brown uh, edit layer in Adobe Camera Raw. But what I like to show you here is that you have a police in Adobe Camera Raw um, uh, and the police help you to find out where the thief stole all your details in the shadows and the highlights. So when I do some changes here, maybe I like to have more contrast, I bring the black slider to the right side, a little bit changing the exposure, and then a thief was there and the thief stole my details in the shadows and in the highlights. And now I like to call the police. So you have to dial 9... Oh, no, you don't have to dial, you just have to click. Click on that little icon here and ta-da, the police is there and the police show you with the blue collar where the thief stole the details in the shadows. And if you click on that little icon here, you can see in a red color where the thief stole the details in the highlights. That's very nice in Adobe Camera Raw. But let's open this image in Photoshop. We have a problem in Photoshop because we do not have the police. So when I apply here uh, a levels adjustment layer, I change the contrast here. Where is the police? What I can do is I can create an adjustment layer threshold, but that's not a police. That's a 95 year old security. I don't know. Um, so let me delete that layer and now I like to show you a way how you can create a whole police department in Adobe Photoshop. So let me delete this layer again and what you need to create a police department is an adjustment layer. It's so easy, so simple, only one adjustment layer. And let me create the adjustment layer gradient map. Let's double click on that layer and call, let me call that police department. So, and now we have to do some changes. Let's click inside of this window and then you will see all the presets of this gradient. And let's choose the third one the black and white gradient map. And it looks nice. Uh, we have a very nice black and uh, white conversion. Everything is fine, everything is great, but that's not that what I like to show you. I like to show you how to create a warning, a police department. So we have to do some changes. Let's change the color here from black to blue because blue is the warning color for the shadows and this white color is for the highlights. So click on that icon here and let's change the white color into a red color. Okay, now we have the police department but it still looks terrible. We have to do more changes. But I promise you now we do the last changes and then everything is fine. So let's double click on that empty space right here on the layer. Then you will get into the layer styles. And right here, bring that slider from zero to something around 250. And this slider from 255 to something around five. And then we have our police department. So let me apply something to show you that everything will work. I click on that layer and now I create an adjustment layer levels. You have to make sure that 
your police department here, your police department gradient map adjustment layer is still on top. And then you can apply everything on your picture, adjustment layer, a filter, whatever. And now let's take a look what happened if we change here the levels. Du, 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 du. It's not the police, it's the A-Team. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but what you can see right now is a warning where a thief stole the details in the shadows and in the highlights. And all you have to create is one adjustment layer police department. Oh, excuse me, gradient map. And the good thing is you can create an action about creating that adjustment layer and then you do not have to do 10 clicks or 20 clicks you only have to do one click to create that layer and that's a very nice technique what i use very often to get a warning if i lose details in the shadows or in the highlights i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you can use the technique and um if you like this technique, if you like the tutorial, if you like to see more, give me a thumbs up on YouTube and make sure you come back. My name was Calvin Hollywood. I'm still from the cold, cold Germany. Greetings and see you next time.